Welcome back to Endless Space 2. Let's play by uh, by me, JC Proton. We're doing a custom Horatio race uh, on an endless difficulty galaxy of the whatever the largest size is here. And uh, yeah, we're continuing at turn 74, coming up on an election soon. Pirates have gotten pretty fierce. Uh, apparently there's a war going on between the Cravers and the uh, Vaulters. The uh, Lumeris have declared war on me a, a little while back. Um, I'm trying to work on peace with uh, the Riftborn. Uh, they haven't been up for peace, but they did at least share map with me, so... I got a whole bunch of info here. I can see there's the hint of um, the Sofuns over here. Um, here you see the usual layout, um, four constellations on the south. Uh, there's going to be four constellations on the north and then five constellations through the middle. My home constellation is way out here on this end. I've got United Empire here. And looks like they've decided to set up an outpost in my constellation here. I know from the election map that there was a wormhole connection here. So perhaps they have wormhole tech developed. I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Right now, our main, main actions going on is uh, losing this outpost to Lumeris. They already took this one. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're strangling this one now. So I think they're toast in, uh, how long? Six turns? Yeah, it won't be long. So, yeah, they're hosed. Um, there's no way I'm going to get to that and save it. <coughs> um, the other main thing is, okay, a couple things. Um, got this quest rolling right now. This, uh, the galaxy will be my selfie, the Horatio quest line. Um, and uh, what I'm trying to do, there's basically two rebel fleets that have spawned. So my objective is to destroy all of the Horatio Prime's fleet, the original Horatio, right? Destroy all of his fleets that are trying to steal my galaxy. So, um, yeah, those are located right here. There's one here. And uh, the other is right here. Uh, and I've been watching them interact with the pirates. Apparently, um, they count as pirates, and so the pirates don't attack them. Um, so the pirates are, you know, seem to be a little bit British or something. Um, Australian, not really sure. So anyway, um, yeah, you've got these two fleets that I need to take out. And when I do, then I'll get a bonus of plus 25 industry on all of my systems for the remainder of the game. So that's a really nice, really nice uh, quest reward. Um, and yeah, the, the glaring situation going on here <laughs> with the pirate base. These pirate fleets are formidable. And there are four of them. And this one's even stronger. So, um, yeah, it is it is intense. Uh, just got past 50 population. So I've got uh, a really nice bonus here. I get plus 0.1 influence per industry spent. I think last turn I had like 400 and something influence. And suddenly I have 800. So I'm getting like three or 400 extra influence per turn now you see my approval is not great we've definitely got some issues going on ah so it's a nice challenging game it's a nice challenging game so uh i think what i'm going to focus on doing here is i need to deal with this and these uh that's the top priority i'm assembling fleets right now to to do that I'm putting a fleet here and a fleet here to see if these guys come back at all. I will inter intercept them. Um, 
my plan is to put together a fleet of six ships in each of these locations. It would be one of these buckler defense ships, uh, protectors, and five frigates. The frigates, um, let me run through those designs real quick with you. The buckler ship looks like this. Uh, one engine, which is the uh, the cool quest engine, scavenger ram scoop. It's three three movement, but it's you get an extra twenty five percent movement off of it. I'm um, going with two uh, armor because I'm finding these pirates and most of the races around me who are hostile. Uh, they're going pretty heavy kinetic for the most part, so missiles, guns. Uh, so I'm going two armor units, and then this is a really nice shield that I've got. Um, so I'm just so that it's kind of well rounded and balanced, right? So here's the defensive stats on this ship. So this is my guardian protector type. One of those uh, per fleet, and then five of these frigates. Again, same movement. Uh, going with one gun. Uh, primarily really for point defense but also because of some damage mix, mixed damage right mix up the damage types and then two of the beams because they're the my most advanced energy weapon uh, they 19 damage at all ranges versus my lasers are 21 damage uh, but that's only at medium range and then it's only half that it's short or long so um, Best, best range weapon I have, is, or energy weapon I have, is the beams. Damage profile comes out like this, so they're very effective. Uh, good damage along, basically the closer it gets, the, the, the more damage you do. So that's fine. Um, going to be using battle tactic most of the time. I'm going to be using this repair and recover because uh, you get 30% health recovered at the end of the battle on all of your ships that participated. So I figure I'm going armor to deal with like these fleets are pretty heavily kinetic. They're leaning, you know, they're leaning into kinetics much more than energy. So I have more kinetic defense. And then also my um, my frigates have point defense weapons so that will help reduce the effectiveness of their torpedo missile barrages. So I think I'll stack up pretty well, even though one full fleet will only be around a thousand damage versus their 1400. Um, what I'm planning on doing when I go after this, I'm going to put these two fleets together when I do it. Um, and by doing that, I'll have basically uh, two six-ship flotillas in the same battle. <coughs> so that'll give me a firepower advantage, and then also we'll have a lot, a lot of point defense. I think we'll do really well at neutralizing their guns. I mean, their um, torpedoes, and I, th I think we'll likely, with that fleet, just come in here, and they'll attack one fleet after another after another and after another and they'll just those all get wiped out and i think i think that fleet will be able to of, of those two six ship flotilla fleets of a fleet of 12 i think that'll be sufficient we'll just we'll wipe them all out and then we'll siege it and we'll just crush it and um then it'll be mine and after that we'll have this sorted we will have taken out these two rebel fleets we'll have crushed these pirates um, and then we'll just lock in this constellation and we'll be ready to go on offense at that point. We'll be ready to deal with these guys who are encroaching. We'll be ready to come down here to Lumeris, get some sweet revenge for them taking out those outposts that I had no, no business putting in their territory. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe we'll get a little cheeky over here with these with these vaulters, these vaulters are, they're being super friendly to me. They're, they're sucking up, trying to, like, hey, man, how about you want to be our allies, right? Because uh, cravers are kicking our butts. <laughs> they're literally kicking their butts. Uh, if you look at the uh, diplomacy stats, if we swap over to um, 
the vaulters the they're all the way to here on this war i mean they are they're going to probably be having a peace treaty soon if uh, if they can convince the cravers to accept a peace treaty because they are just getting crushed so yeah the war is not going well for them and um between me and lumeris i mean not really a lot has happened here they they're 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 strangling a couple of my outposts. Well, we really haven't had much conflict. Nobody's really captured each other's systems or wiped out each other's fleets. Mostly because I don't even have fleet until just now. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at. And uh, let's see. These guys, they say welcoming, but they're kind of like the Lumeris. They're like Fairweather friends, man. They're very duplicitous. They pretend to be your friend but they're not they're, they're more like frenemies right so yeah they're like that okay so like so like for example he just established this outpost in my space i'm going to go ahead and talk to him about it, say hey move your outpost he's probably not going to welcome welcome the empire always has time for its friends sure you guys do because you're totally my friends Remove nearby outpost, buddy. Let's see. Let's see what their response is. I don't care if they do or not. We'll just see. Refused. Okay. So it's going to be like that. Well, hmm. Well, I can either make it cheaper to go to war, or can increase my pressure on him I'll do the pressure for now because I'm cool like that man I'm being all peaceful see super ratio population all right it has come to an end the boost is over all right so this is this is an opportunity here so I'm not boosted right now I have a decent sized population on my home system. Uh, that home planet has some depletion on it and it does not appear to be recovering when I am not boosted. It's not saying we'll be depleted in this many turns or we'll be um, undepleted in this many turns. It just is just partially depleted. So it's like a draw, I guess. It's even. Okay, well. Okay, so I guess what I want to do is I'll do my little spaceport trick, but first I want to do my ship movements. Let's see, colonize ice. No, it'll be Arctic. Five hundred, yeah, that's nice. So five hundred gives me approval and one population slot. Yeah, that's a win. And this one is a thousand, and I get nothing. Pretty much nothing. So. <coughs> So, yep, okay, that's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. So at this point, we're cranking out some food, right? Yeah, we're, we're popping populations quick. Okay, A, B. You're maxed out. 
I guess we'll go ahead and do the trick now. Just to get it out of the way. The trick. I don't know what else to call it. The trick is you put population into your spaceports. And while you have your population in spaceports off your planets, they no longer count. So I was at 50 something population, now I'm at 38. Um, Cool copies, reduce 25% cost of luxuries for populate, population growth rate. So, right now, I've gone from 50-something down to 38. Let's pass this law. Cool copies. And we'll pass it. And now, instead of 38, I have to pay 29. Okay. Now I'm boosted for 20 turns on my main population. Here's the key. Remember to put your population back after you've done the trick. Okay, just a quick run through all of them real quick just to make sure I didn't miss any. Just using the arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll through all these systems. <coughs> okay, that's all good. Uh, that has been taken care of. All right, we've got an ambler on AC. What's close? Yes, we'll do AF. Do I have what do I have going there? AF, I have one of those. AB. Sure, we'll go to AF. With one of these. Could just assimilate them, uh, but I think I'll just wait. Uh, what is the assimilation bonus? Buyout reduction cost for ships and uh, system uh, construction projects. Yeah. Okay, so AB needs to unload something. Wow, look at that. AA is almost maxed out on population. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, we need to deal with we need to deal with these pirates, man, because we need to start shipping population over here, and we can't do that while this blockade's here. That is not okay. And we're running into maxed out pops, so on these other systems over here. These systems are full. Or nearly full. <clears throat> we need to colonize here. We need to go ahead and get this. Colonize here. Colonize here. Ship some population over here. Yeah, we've got some expanding to do. All right. Let's move.
times six. Back to growing. This is blocked off. There's not a blockade here though. I don't see anything revealing over here. So I guess I'm going to go this way. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that that might be a fleet of vaulter ships? I don't know. Disguised as pirates. Maybe. Or not. Who knows? I just don't normally see pirate fleets assemble that large. Of course, I don't normally play with pirates at maximum difficulty either. <laughs> so... So it's a little bit untested waters for me. I don't normally play with them like that. It's kind of just a bit much. But it's fun. It's fun for something different, that's for sure. Sure. Revealing those helps out helps out these rift born but you know what they're far enough away it doesn't matter if I help them they won't get in I, I I'm almost positive <laughs> they won't get in my way of winning the game so I'm not too worried about it I could go over there but why over there but there are no curiosities to explore here or here right another shot down here and <coughs> just to see what we see oh he arrived yeah that's
that's an ugly situation. Not going to really dwell on it. Where's this guy going to go? Mm -hmm. Maybe something down here, huh? So it looks like the United Empire is getting the upper hand on these pirates. They've apparently managed to deal with any pirate fleets there and are sieging. They've just started sieging the system. Okay, good to know. I kind of want to see how strong is their fleet. 1500, huh? all kinetic 100% interesting Okay, if I was to propose peace, Something these guys, they're very unreasonable, very unreasonable in their demands for peace. Suggest terms. They still want all of my titanium and all of my hyperium. Just to barely give me peace. So what if I said... 20 titanium and 10 hyperium. Mm -hmm. Better than it was. It used to be worse. They used to demand all of my something. Eden incense, I think it was. So. Still a bit steep. So, not there yet, but we're getting closer to being able to make a deal. I don't want to go broke trying to make peace with them. It's not that important. I just need to avoid their fleets until we can make peace.
diplomatic immunity is an interesting battle tactic. So what it does is it gives you Okay, I guess we'll look at it here. Um, plus 100% damage absorption by unarmed ships. So what it does is it, it's long range, except here it's short range. Um, and it makes like if you have, for example, the way I do my defensive ships, like this buckler. He's unarmed. Like, he has no attack. He has only defense. So his attack is zero. Um, I believe the way that works is then you absorb double what you normally would absorb. So here he's absorbing 64%. So does that make it 100%? I'm not sure. The shields absorb 81%. I guess whatever that number is, it's double. I don't know. But it seems to make it where you don't take any, you don't take as much damage. So it, it's pretty strong, actually, when you get it. Um, so I may implement that as a battle tactic uh, the next time um, that it's free. Or I might do it. We'll see, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how much influence I'm actually getting every turn. It should be basically, on average, 10% of what this number is here. So that's about 200 right there, 250. That's around 250 per turn on average. And I'm going negative right now because of that cool copies, but that's only for one turn. Look at that. Pacifist is really high. Oh, I guess it's because of that um, event. Hmm. It's a little bit concerning because my industrialist is dipping and I need industrialists. I want them to stay in power. <clears throat> so we'll see how that impacts this election. Okay, I want to see what's happening here. I will pass the turn. What's going to happen? guys going where are you guys going and are you getting wiped out what's happening with you he's coming this way they're going that way they're running <coughs> okay Okay, patrol. Um, I I don't think I don't think we're friends. I think me and United Empire are not friends. Now you know that these United Empire dudes are not happy about the fact that Lumeris took that. I'm not happy about it either, but not nearly as unhappy about it as these guys are. I bet their relations are now strained. They're not going to be happy with each other. But the fact that he's crowding me here, I think it's time. I think it's time to... Uh, I think it's time to express 
my displeasure with his choice. <clears throat> You are toast, dude. This is going to be lightning quick. I don't even know why you bothered watching it. I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Probably doing a little bit earlier than I should. But I want to get it done, man. You're a sly one, aren't you? Oh, uh, no. I'm going to keep attacking you. I've decided we're not friends. Oh. Yeah, I knew that was a risk. But that's okay. I'm not really that excited about that industry contacts. It's not really that big a deal to me. It's not like I really rush buyouts that often. You're a sly one, aren't you? We can only assume your intentions are hostile. We will build our defenses accordingly. Yeah, that's fine. You build your defenses. Thinking, talking about defenses, how close are we to getting this uh, deed? Deployable ramparts. I mean, first place, be the first to raise one of your heroes to level 9. Deployable ramparts are great because... It's 15 manpower loss when sieging as opposed to these, which are 7. So they're twice as good. Um, they also take... Oh, they only take 1. 1 uh, titanium, and these also take 1 titanium. So the same, 
Same price, but twice as effective, and also has 350 additional manpower. So carries extra troops for your invasions as well. Very nice. Okay, so I need to get to level 9. My highest level hero is this one here, 8, and he's just under a quarter level left to hit level 9. <clears throat> cool. So hopefully I'll get that, and then I'll be able to build a couple of siege ships. Hey, is the frigate colonize? That is some serious. Let's see what let's see what we got here. So four seventy one to five oh three. So that is thirty two. 32 industry. Yeah, we're going to build a slag and sludge center. Pump up that. Pump up that resource generation. Cloudless Warm Giant. Apparently he likes sterile. the size of these fleets 14 ships 11 ships <clears throat> he's not playing around man he is rolling out some serious fleets Funny, I'm gonna fly right to his home system. there. Three or four. I feel like that's safest. fly here <coughs> I'll very likely get attacked however 
I have enough hit points that I can survive a retreat now. What's over here? Just one? No, two. Pirate layer remains. Okay. You know what? Let's live dangerously. You only live once. YOLO. Right? YOLO. Explore them both. See if he attacks me or not. Twenty titanium. Yeah, boys. Sure, I'll investigate. Just passing through, man. Just passing through. Unarmed civilian exploration ship here. No, no threat to you. No need to attack me. Wow, that's a nice move. Mm-hmm. Getting sleepy, starting to fade out here while I'm at the keyboard. So that's a good indicator it's time to go to bed soon. Falling asleep at the keyboard is not good for winning this game. You kind of need to have your wits about you. Otherwise, you make, like, dumb decisions and make big mistakes kind of stuff. Definitely getting sleepy here. Not sure what to do with that guy, so I guess I'm just going to leave him parked one more turn. Seems like I could start moving him out, but I'll probably wait to do that until I have a replacement there. to advance the turn. Well, this is going to be exciting. <clears throat> it's going to be very exciting. Okay, so everybody's going in here. Everybody's going in here. Ooh. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's have a big fight. Let's do it. Do I have something else queued up? Yeah. Queuing up wormholes. Because we're going to we're gonna need to move around and start throwing down. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit end turn. And then I'm going to spam the move all fleets. Because I want to get all this stuff moved in here. Here we go, man. Moment of truth. 
Might be screwing up the game here. I'm going for it, man. I'm going for it. We'll do okay. We'll do okay. Hopefully we'll get moved in there before they attack. Moved in. Select all merge. There, now it's all one fleet, so if they attack, they have to attack all of it. Boom, here we go. <clears throat> okay, man, it's a big turn. It's a big turn here. Harrison's boost is over. Cravers demand dust. Whoa. Dude, they went from being... In one turn, they they took the sovereignty, and then the next turn, they just captured it. Wow. Okay. So I see. Uh, I see. We're gonna have that kind of interaction with them. Okay. That's cool. We can do war with them. I mean, I could. I had my chance to assimilate them earlier, and that's fine. I passed on it. I didn't want to pay the um, didn't want to pay the influence. So remember, I was at like eight hundred. Now I'm at twelve hundred. Right? So I'm 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 getting like I got like four hundred a couple of turns in a row. Except the offer one who decays. He wants thirty five hundred dust. Man, he can jam it. Nope, refuse. I'm not afraid of you. And what do we have here? Battle is about to start against pirates at Isso. I think this is the first of several battles that's going to take place. <laughs> okay, so. Who are we taking on? Jaw, Shuttle, Positron, Positron. That is... This one. They're hitting us with the strongest fleet first. <clears throat> okay. So they're leaning kinetic and they're leaning torpedo base. So we're going to do repair and recover. Advanced. So they have three, so they have six, six points of fleet. I have 11. Okay. Lost ratio. You're going down here. Okay. So this is going to be a buckler and four frigates. And this is a buckler and four frigates. And then this is my third. I'll just have this lost ratio over here. And I think he, he's going to be stuck in these two um, lanes. So I'm going with three flotillas. He'll have two. That'll give me a little bit of an advantage. <clears throat> I don't think they'll probably be shooting over here at this guy. Hopefully. Uh, they should just be engaging within their own flotilla lane here. So we'll see. And then the repairs should hopefully do pretty well. Should hopefully do pretty well. He's mostly... Um, he's mostly... Tor this guy's mostly torpedoes with some beams. This guy is uh, one beam, one laser. One beam, one laser. And then... Slightly more guns than torpedoes, but all kinetic. So we should do pretty well. We've got shields and we've got plenty of armor. So this will be an interesting fight. And then we'll repair at the end. We'll start at medium range if we get our way. Looks like they tend to go with medium to long range tactics. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here we go. 
<clears throat> they split their fleet. This looks good. We should do pretty well here. I don't think we'll lose anything. and We may even come out of the battle uh, fully repaired because of the battle tactic. We'll see. So we'll go to free camera. So this one's taking on this one, and this one's taking on this one. And this ship should be taking most of the firepower in this fleet. Not taking much damage, not taking much damage. We can see. Torpedoes are not. We'll wait for the next volley to come in here. Okay, here comes a volley of. There's a torpedo here. It's coming in. Boom, gets blown up. His shield is totally down. So he's halfway down. That one over there is doing much better. He took pretty heavy damage. Took more than I thought he was going to. And this guy came out really well. Shield was still all the way gone. <clears throat> yeah, that got pretty damaged. next fight I'm gonna swap those two okay let's see how this stacked up so damage caused by my weapons First long range, then medium range, long range, and then long range. So, medium, medium, medium. So, what was the battle tactic they used? <clears throat> Hard target. <clears throat> Plus 25% long range defense bonuses. Hmm. It's pretty strong at long range. This was the damage they inflicted on me. Okay, how about if I attack? <laughs> they'll do it for me <laughs> they're attacking again can't say I'm surprised <clears throat> oh interesting curiosity minor sieve remains okay ok 
Okay, they're attacking again. Repairing, recover, advanced. Okay. So we're going to swap these around. The most damaged one. Okay, he's less damaged. He goes here. Because that's the one that took the most damage before. This lane was where the damage happens. So, and this one less damage happens. So this one is the much more damaged ship. I'm going to keep him up here. <clears throat> and recover again. better and now we see <clears throat> the ships are repairing with each battle oh yeah they did way less damage that was a pretty good setup that was a pretty good setup Okay, should we boost Harishims again? Why not? We'll give them, do the trick. Right, we'll do the trick on the Harishims. They're down here. Alright, so let's just pick both of these up off of the Ash Planet. Boost the, uh, no, we need to do one more. that new tech give us us now no
tired. Come on, man. Let's let's have these fights go a little bit more. I, you guys know you want to attack me some more, right? Slag and sludge. Trade Clearing Bureau. <clears throat> nice. So now I can see these. Those are good. <clears throat> Compact warp methods, maybe. It's one of these two. Either more science or increased max population. Torn. Okay, we'll do the movements and then we'll deal with this. I'll do the other movements and then hopefully the fleet will attack. You, yeah, if I do other movements, maybe the pirates will continue attacking that fleet. <clears throat> For some reason that happens. cover again. I liked how that went last time. That was pretty good. Try to put the more damage ship where they take less damage to try to get it repaired. Yeah, that happened. I was drifting off to sleep sitting here watching this fight. Looks like these ones need to swap. Alright, next fight we'll swap those. again that works out
Oopsie, bumped the mic, my bad. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Oh, he's pretty repaired. Okay, repair and recover again. We should come through this with full hit points. And we pretty much know how this is going to go here. We'll make it go fast. Quick battle. barely even scratch me. Full hit points. Full hit points. Yeah, we're in great shape. And these pirates are, <laughs> they just smashed all of their fleets to death against me. And now I'm laying siege. Hmm, we could build a seed ship or two. They have a lot of defense there. 600 is kind of a lot. Small siege. I like to use the scout, actually, believe it or not. That's seven. Oh. That's right. I haven't achieved it yet. Deployable ramparts. Close, but no cigar. Okay, now I can actually send ships down here to AE and AD.
Look at the difference from 29 to 39. Thirty-nine to forty-nine. <clears throat> okay, we got Adam Anakin. We're fine. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and build predictive logistics. That's worth 80 industry. Who has right the law? The law, the law, the law. New colony. We'll get that a big approval boost if we establish anything or conquer anything. And that'll help us with the election, too, that's coming up. Getting that uh, industrialist. Yeah, it's going to be a little tricky on this election. I want to be alert for that election uh, as we approach it. So we're going to wrap this uh, recording after this um, turn. Predictable logistics is done. Adamantium refining is done. Industrial zones is all we have left. I like to only do that on uh, planets where, where it's hot or it's going to be like permanently hot. Like this would be one, but it's already slagging sludge. This will be hot for a while. I could do it there. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe after I've turned it into a desert or something, I'll come back to it. Yeah. done okay cool Whew, I think we can finally advance the turn man that was a big one that was a big turn right there man a lot of stuff changed over here in ISO 
we can go ahead and have put an outpost out here now. So that's something I should look at do, doing. What's my food over here? Yeah. Crazy high. And one thing that worked really well was this flying this ship across here. That really let me get a good look at what was going on. Stay there. Guess you can go across. That was a long recording right there. All right, long recording. All right, let's end this turn. Let's see what's going to happen in over here. Who's going where? Who's going where? Blockade here to catch this guy. What I should do, I should get some fleet here to catch this guy maybe as well. Can I reach him? If I drop the lost ratio, I could. The answer is yes. I can totally catch that guy. Okay, cool. Yeah, now the turns are easy.
Yeah, the turns are easy. We did the big lift right there. Cleared out, uh, cleared out all those pirate fleets. Now we have the upper hand. Cool. Well, we'll start back here in the next time. Thanks for watching. I definitely enjoyed it. Probably played a lot longer on this one session. I should have split it to two, I think. But uh, it is what it is at this point. Um, I might, in editing, break it up and break it into two. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.